YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at our plan for making coins on this game over the next few days. We'll also be looking at your team, buying it, selling it, what are you gonna be doing with it? We'll also be going over expected content in the next few days and some leaks. But before we get into all that, we're gonna talk about content today on Friday. And guys, if you need coins on FC25, check out u7buy.com for cheap, fast, reliable coins. That is u7buy.com. Make sure you use code Teddy at checkout, you will get 6% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Here we go. Content drop. What did we get? Let's start off with the challenge SPC Total Rush Challenge 4. I already did it. You get a premium gold pack. It was really easy to do. Um, we were thinking maybe with these Total Rush challenges, they would change and go from the center backs to the midfielders because we kept getting it would cut off the whole team and it would be left back, right back, center backs, goalkeeper. They decided to stick with that. It was a really easy SBC though, so it was really nothing crazy price-wise. It was it was stupid easy to do. But maybe we're not going to be getting the midfielder stuff going forward that we were talking about. Now, the player SBC, let's get into that. We did, before we get into that, because I want to finish on that, Team of the Week SBC, refreshed. It's just refreshing every single day. Again, it's the same thing. 84 squad with 185 minimum required. Now, let's get into the player SBC. It's actually pretty good. It's a little expensive, to be honest, but it's expensive where it's a lot of the fodder that people have, I guess you would say. Like, a lot of us have 84s. A lot of us have 84s in Team of the Week's untradeable duplicates. 85s might be pushing it a little bit, but then it's really just like an 86 squad. That's the only one I think you would struggle to do. In total, this is going to cost you 170,000 coins if you were going to pay for the whole thing, but most of us have a lot of stuff in our club. So this is the card. Jorginho Rudder. Uh, five star skills, five star weak foot. I have not watched a review on him yet. I just saw a short clip of him on, uh, Twitter. He looked pretty good. He looked pretty good. I will say with his play styles too, he has no play style plus, which is very disappointing. But <clears throat> one of the key things that's like somewhat OP is the trickster trickster play style right here. This one, it gives you a really overpowered fake shot. It's like a fake shot, but it's like a ball roll type of fake shot. And it's it's pretty overpowered. So the fact that he has that is pretty nice. Also being five-star skills, five-star weak foot is solid. It's a decent card. Um, a lot of people are doing it. If you look on Footbin, when a card has a good like to dislike ratio, that's not normal. It's not typical. And he has a fairly decent one. More likes than dislikes is good, I would say. So a lot of people are definitely going out and doing this SBC. And... Uh, yeah, I'd watch a review on him first before you do him. I don't know. It's a good card. Decent SBC from EA. And that's what we got for SBCs. Now, I want to talk about evolutions. And we're going to stop talking about evolutions now because we didn't get an evolution. <laughs> kind of shocking. little weird. It's Friday. Usually every Friday promo, you get a new evolution. We didn't get one. So I don't know if there's like issues at the moment or, or something's going on. But no evolution is a little sus. A little suspicious. Uh, yeah, so that's that. No evolution. Okay, E8, you know, you do you. Now, let's talk about the market. We did get an objective. I mean, might as well just show it real quick. I just want to give you guys a heads up. If you're seeing a bunch of uh, Hollands and Van Dykes and Mo Salah loans, you can blame this objective because you complete it, you get nine game loan Van Dyke, Mo Salah. If you do the City one, you get a nine game loan Rodri and Holland. Obviously the Liverpool one is a lot more meta, a lot more meta. So there's a little objective you guys can go do. It also has uh, Texas code and Levi's code. So if you wanna try out their tactics, my webcam is blocking it, but it's literally right here. It has their code. You can just type it in and you can copy their tactics. I think that's pretty cool. If you want to copy the pros tactics, there you go. It's kind of cool, but it's also kind of terrifying because now there's going to be a lot of people that are more casual that are going to be getting good tactics from pros. A little scary because we're going to be facing that now. So there's that. Let's get into the market now. What's the situation? Guys, we made a ton of coins. We talked about in the previous video, meta flips. I bought the Phil Foden's. I have the Donnarumma's. Unfortunately, no Di Lorenzo today, but those Phil Foden's that I was buying, I sold them all for 57,000 coins. That was amazing. That was amazing. These Donnarumma's, I still have not sold. I'm hoping Di Lorenzo, maybe some more player SBCs coming, could help them go up in price. Um, I do want to talk about fodder. I guess let's get into that. The market... 
I guess let's just mention the market. So the market, I sold all my stuff before content dropped like you should have. Obviously, out of packs are fine. Out of pack cards, that it's situational. Like Total Rush Team 1, you wouldn't have had to really sell these cards. I think they're doing pretty decent as well, to be honest. Like Trent, I held Trent. He's 340. What was he before content? Before content drop, he was 330. Went up to 350, but still 340 is pretty good. There's no right packs as well in this promo team, so... Out of pack stuff you don't need to worry about. It's the gold you need to worry about. Like the Phil Foden that I was selling for 57,000 coins is now 40,000 coins. Those are the cards you need to worry about. Stuff that's in packs because they're going to get packed quite a bit. Uh, so that's the market. It's down. Um, fodder is also, I guess you could kind of say down. Here's the market, by the way. Boom. Um, you could maybe say fodder's down as well. Not really. Maybe a tiny bit, actually. It's it's down a bit more from when I was looking earlier, so that's kind of good. And you guys know we're looking to uh, full send fodder. So let's get into fodder. What's the situation? I think it's a good investment. Um, when it comes to the higher rated fodder, the Donnarumma's, I have 89 overall Donnarumma's. You know this. I'm hoping De Lorenzo or something like that. But I, I just want to mention, a lot of people... We've been looking at FC24 and we've been looking at high rated fodder. We're like, oh, FC24, the high rated fodder flew in the month of October. It went up so much. It, it, it's going to go up. It's going to go up. It's going to go up. Yes, I think it's going to go up eventually, but I think it might be a couple weeks, maybe one or two week hold, maybe even pushing three weeks. Why do I think that? If you go back and look at FC24 and the SBCs that came out in the month of October that made the 89s, the 90s, the 91s, the 88s, it made those cards go up. We got, I believe we got Sun Player of the Month. We got Mbappe Player of the Month. We got a Blanc Icon SBC. Then after that, I think we got Mo Salah Player of the Month. There were big SBCs that came out. So big SBCs came out and it was big SBCs that a lot of people would do. Everyone goes out and does Mbappe Player of the Month. So the high rate of fodder flew. I don't think we really have anything like that right now for high rated fodder. Now it's really low. Don't get me wrong, high rated fodder is extremely low, but what's going to make it rise? We need an icon player SBC. It's going to have to be an icon player SBC because we're not getting a random Mbappe SBC for no reason. It needs to be a player of the month. We're not getting a random, like, it's, that's it. We're just not getting some random, nasty, cracked player SBC. It's not going to happen. So we need probably an icon SBC. Something like that is where you're going to start to see that high rated fodder rise. Icon player SBC, I should say. Um, now for this week, expected content. We have no leaks of an icon player SBC. I will say timeline wise, we should be approaching one. We should be getting one at some point soon. So hopefully it's good. Like that Blanc was really good. It, it helped fodder rise. But you know, it was really the Mbappe, the Sun, the, the player of the month cards that really made the fodder go up in price. So... Honestly, I think, again, it's going to be low fodder this week. How much do I think this low fodder is going to rise? I'm not so sure necessarily. Uh, we should be getting the Dunn SBC, a Di Lorenzo SBC. And then on Wednesday, we had the Icon SBC. So this next Wednesday, it's probably going to be the Hero SBC. They usually swap back and forth. So Hero SBC, that was an 85 squad and an 86 squad. So I think the 84, 85, 86 route is a decent investment path. I don't know if they're necessarily going to rise a crazy amount. I don't think I don't know if it's going to be anything insane. But again, we do the simple method of let's buy fodder on the weekend and sell it on Wednesday and then we do the Thursday rival reward flips. That's going to be it. You could Maybe if you wanted to skip out on the fodder, you could try to buy other cards like flip some out of packs. You could try to buy cards at squad battle rewards, but I think um the simple route is you just buy fodder. It's always very low risk. And if it doesn't rise, you can just hold. You can always just hold fodder. If it doesn't rise, eventually it should go up. So let's go over the prices. I would say, I do think we might have a lower point on Sunday. I want to mention that Sunday squad battle rewards. I wouldn't be surprised if that is our low point, but 84s, 1500 coins. You should be able to get them for 1500 coins. I don't think it'll be that hard. And then 85s, I would say, Below 5k, they're 4.8. You should be able to get them for like 4.7, 4.6 on bid, to be honest. And then 86s, I'd say below 8,000 coins. Definitely below 8,000 coins. If you're going to push for 87s, try to get them for 12k. So that's the fodder. That's the fodder situation. Those are the prices. And again, you just buy the fodder, you sell it on Wednesday. It's as simple as that. So 
Now that we've gone over that, let's kind of talk about the market a bit more, your teams and all that. So the market, I, I do want to mention as well, we got a 100K pack today, the first tradable 100K pack of the year. And it didn't affect the market as much as I thought it would. To be honest, it did not affect the market nearly as much as I thought it would. Um, I forgot I should probably look at Total Rush Team 2. But Total Rush Team 2 came out. And when that 100K pack came out, it came out, I think, like two hours or three hours after content drop. I think it was two. Might have been three. Two or three hours after content drop, we got a, uh, three tradable 100K packs, which you would think, oh my God, that's going to bring a crazy amount of supply. We didn't see stuff drop off too much. But if we did, it was more of a slight drop. We slowly saw stuff come down in price. For example, this Putelas. This Putelas was chilling uh pack comes out she was like 3.1 mil or something like that and then slowly she actually dropped down to 2.6 it took a couple hours though for her to drop down to 2.6 mil guess who bought her at 2.6 million coins and has been using her this guy uh at 2.8 mil if i was to sell that i think i make like 40 or 60 thousand coins i don't know what the math is exactly i think it's 60 thousand coins i make so 60 thousand coin profit i got to use putellas for like six games Pretty dope. Good card, by the way. Really solid. I'm hoping I can sell her overnight for a decent price. Um, so that's the Putella situation. Uh, I'm making coins there. That's why I also have no coins. If you were wondering why I have 95,000 coins, it's because I bought the Putellas. Let's just let's just flex the Putellas real quick. Kind of scary for a little bit because she dropped. I bought her for 2.6. She was popping up for 2.5 mil, 2.45 mil absolutely insane a couple of the viewers in the streams got in on this with me though you can see 2.6 mil. i played four games okay four games i was gonna play another one but then uh brooke came over with some pizza and a chicken caesar salad wrap we watched a movie um all right 2.8 mil let's watch that because if that sells there was a 275 that was just on the market so that sold i think there was a two point was there a two no it was the 275 so if that 2.8 mil sells that's really interesting very interesting. We're in a good, I'm, a, I'm in a good spot on this Putella. She should get rare overnight. Okay, enough of the bla blabbling, whatever it is I'm saying. Um, there's Total Rush Team 2. Okay, so your team. Also, price range updates on these cards. People are going crazy. Tamori Extinct, let me snipe him. Boom, he got even lower after the price range update. Guerrero actually held his value a little bit better. I think his max price was 150 and he's, he's basically the same price, and he's going to crash tomorrow on Saturday. Guys, again, little tip, don't hold any promo cards into Saturday. They get cooked. Pretty much 99% of the time, they crash on Saturday. Don't hold them. Okay, there's your little word of advice. So your team, what's the situation? Uh, as always, the low is usually Sunday, so if you want to buy your team saturday night or sunday morning around squad battle rewards that's a good time to do it and then you sell it on tuesday simple as that it's a great way to make coins but it's also a great way to just buy a really solid team and enjoy it like i i shouldn't say that this is, has nothing to do with it i bought two hernandez today just because high meta they do hold their value a little bit better i bought him for 504 he's 502 um but i think as the week goes on tuesday comes around i think he'll do decent this is Everyone is saying this is the best bang for your buck card you can get on the game at 500,000 coins. He's ridiculous, by the way. This card is absolutely, like, beyond insane. It's incredible. Uh, highly recommend him if you can afford him. So that's the situation with your team. Just buy it Sunday, sell it Tuesday, go all in at rival rewards to flip cards. That's pretty much it, honestly. It's a really simple weekend. There's nothing super different going on. I'd say maybe, I'm definitely gonna go into low fodder, I think, but there's a chance. We we have DiLorenzo and we have Dunn. Those are two SBCs coming. I think the links to someone like Dunn, I'm just gonna go over link investments real quick. The links to someone like Dunn, they're already up a lot. Her card, the stats, official stats got leaked. I'll, I'll show you right here. Here's the card. It's nasty, but the links are up a lot. So I don't know how much more they're going to rise. If she's cheap, they're probably going to rise even more. But that's just insane because they're already stupid high. Now, someone like Di Lorenzo, the links to Di Lorenzo, I don't know when he's going to come out. He could come out tomorrow on Saturday, but if he doesn't, the links are going to go down even more. And then if they go down even more, that could be a decent buy point. So just kind of random something to keep an eye on i think the links to di lorenzo could do really good but it's going to depend does it come out tomorrow on saturday or sunday personally i think tomorrow we're going to get done and then maybe sunday is when we get di lorenzo and if that's the case buying links to di lorenzo on sunday could actually be a really good move
Just throwing that out there. And then if you don't want to do fodder, I guess I'm just throwing a bunch of random things out because, I mean, I like fodder. I always like fodder. It's just, I'm not as crazy about it this week as I was the last two weeks. Two weeks ago, we did the 84s for 1100. They went to 2K. Last week, we did the 85s, 4K, uh, 5K, sold for over 6K. 86s, 8K, sold for over 9K. We did really good with that. But this week, I'm, I'm just, because we're getting an Icon SBC we already had. People aren't going to be that excited about it. Unless we get some sort of gamble SBC on Tuesday. Tuesday, we've been getting the 80 plus times 5, the 83 double upgrade. If we get something that's actually decent on Tuesday, that could help fodder. That would actually be huge. If we got something decent on Tuesday, you'd probably see something like the 84s or 85s do really good. So maybe that's the case. But uh, just random thing I'm throwing out. If you have anything else you'd want to maybe invest in, you could probably look to pick up some of these Team of the Weeks. Uh, the Trossar, the Shabbosly, and the Dragusin are decent cards in the Premier League, but they're also close to fodder price. So I think it's very low risk where they're fodder, but then they're also good, so they could rise because of that. So a little double whammy on those. Just throwing random things out there. Um, I'm going to stop going on about that because I, I could talk about the market for literally hours. I mean, it's all I do on stream every single day. So, uh, expected content. Let's get into that. Again, we're going to hop over to the Discord just to take a peek at this. Guys, if you want to join my Discord, by the way, description down below. But if you want to join the VIP trading section, section, all you got to do is subscribe to my Twitch channel. If you guys have Amazon Prime, you can sub for free. Join the VIP trading Discord for free. This is the free trading section. Uh, the YouTube videos get popped up in here. I talked about the VIP investment. I do need to post a little bit more. Maybe I'll post something tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do something tomorrow, but let's take a peek at the league. So we have the Dunn SBC on the way. Um, the promos, I, I, I saw a tweet. I didn't put it in here, but I saw a tweet talking about upcoming promos. Trailblazer promo, the official Dynasty promo, and I actually think there was a third, but I don't remember what the third was. But Trailblazer and Dynasty, I'd say one of those two is going to be the next one. The Dynasty one is like the icons. You get the icon... And then you get like a kid version or a brother version, a younger version that's actually in the game, something like that. So we'll see. Um, I'm If I was going to guess, I'd say Trailblazer is the next promo, but I don't think there's any actual confirmation on that yet. So done SBC, I'm guessing comes out tomorrow. And you can see right here, the other SBC set to come out, DiLorenzo SBC. New Evolutions, didn't get one today on Friday. So, I mean, I'd be shocked if we don't get one tomorrow on Tuesday. How did I just jump from Friday to Tuesday? tomorrow on saturday apologies so that's expected content i really don't have a crazy amount of things left to go over that's going to be pretty much it for this video i want to show you guys something really cool before i end it um it's kind of how i've been watching this putellus as well so check this out this is maybe not so much for the casual traders. This is for the people that are uh, DGENs like me and you really study the market quite a bit. So what we're going to do is watch these putelases, okay? Clearly, this right here is someone. This is clearly someone trading the card. Listed them up for three hours overnight at 2.8 something, right? These are clearly traders here. I, I would assume they're traders. So we just added them to our transfer targets, okay? You can't see how much they bought the card for. If we click on it, you know, I like this, little bonus tip to end the video. You click on it, you can't see how much they were buying the card for. You see it right next to my webcam right here, it doesn't say. Now, check this out. So what we're gonna do is head over to the market so we can see how much other people were buying these cards for if they're trading with them. Really interesting little thing right here. Um, we were watching some guy earlier that bought for 2.6 and then he was panic selling for 2.6.1. He lost over 100,000 coins on tax. Poor guy should have held because he she's already 2.8 mil. Uh, I want to bid 300. Can I get one that I can bid 300? I really don't want to bid. Here we go. Boom. All right, so I bid 300. Ready? Watch this. I'll go here. I'll click on this card that I bid 300 on. Now watch this. Oh, this person is listing their Putalas for 2.6 mil. We have 2.65 is what they didn't, they bought their Putellas for 2.6 mil. This person bought theirs for 265. 252, oh my God, this person's balling. Geez, see, that's what I was talking about. I bought it at 2.6 mil, it got lower. You can see this guy that's listing for 2.8 overnight, it's this, these ones right here. He bought for 2.5. What, oh wait, I gotta click on this again. He bought for 2525, 255, 2516. That's crazy. So it's these ones right here. One, two, three. That's what he got. So if he sells those, let's just do the math real quick for this guy. Two, eight, four. So let's go two, eight, boom, times 0.95. 
He'll be getting 2.7 million coins on these cards. So he gets 2.7 mil back. He bought them for basically 2.5. He's making almost 200K per card. 2.46. That's 600,000 coins right there. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's definitely one guy as well that just listed these cards up. So um, little bonus tip right there. Made the video a little longer. Apologies. I made a long video. I try to make them as short as I can. Um, but that is going to be it, guys. If you do have any questions about this video, let me know in the comment section down below. My trading Discord and my Twitch live stream are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.